This is Dave Espino with The Daily Hustle, and in today's Daily Hustle, the topic is arguing on Facebook is lose-lose. Okay, now, we're coming off a very contentious election season. Uh, we have a new president, and everybody's up in arms, and things are going like crazy on Facebook right now. And I am just sick and tired of it. And I don't know if any of you are as well, but it has just gotten so bad with people butting heads and going after each other and just getting so personal with things. And let me tell you something, you want to stay out of that. You want to stay out of any argumentative situation on social media. You want to do this for a couple reasons. You want to protect your mindset. Your mindset is so important and your attitude is so critical to your success. You cannot waste it on petty arguments or even legitimate arguments, okay? Don't waste that attitude and don't waste that mindset. It is so precious to you. Remember, as I've been saying in some of these Daily Hustle videos, there's two things you can control. One is your mindset or your attitude, and two is your level of activity and action, right? And if either of, of those gets kind of thrown off, you get thrown off and your business gets thrown off and your future gets thrown off. Do not do that, okay? What you want to do is stay away from these types of arguments. One, by never bringing up anything argumentative like that on Facebook. Why? Any kind of argument on Facebook is what I call a lose-lose transaction. You're going to lose, and the person you're arguing is going to lose. Why? Because neither of you is going to win. <laughs> neither of you is going to convince the other side or the other person that you're right and they're wrong. It's lose-lose, it's headbutting. it's just not going to work. But more importantly than that, the proper use of your time comes into play. And what I mean is, you're in there and you might even make a very innocent comment about something, right? That relates to your point of view. Now this could be about politics, it could be about religion, it could be about anything. It could be about uh, a high school football game that your, your son is in or, or your daughter's in or whatnot. It could be about anything, right? You make this little comment and then somebody somehow comes in and takes it the wrong way or they have a different point of view and they come at you, right? And now you are embroiled in this verbal war, right? And now you're emotionally invested in this war and you're trying to figure out, okay, what do I say next? How do I say this, you know, and, and whatnot. And depending on your level of, of, you know, whether you like to get into arguments or not, uh, you may go all out with this argument and it can just be a thread that just keeps going and going and going and going, in which case you've wasted days of your life, which is, it's against the daily hustle to waste days of your life, right? <laughs> or it might be something subtle that just requires a few responses, but even then that could throw off your attitude and therefore your level of activity. So do not get into arguments on Facebook about anything. And especially if you are trying to build an audience and you're trying to build a following, whether you're doing content marketing like I'm doing here on YouTube, or whether you're doing blogging or whatever you're doing, you don't want to ever come across as antagonistic to any side, and you don't ever want to come across as controversial to any side. You want to kind of ride above all of the, uh, the nitpicking and the attitudes and the aggression and the arguments that are happening on Facebook. You want to ride above that by never getting involved in those conversations. Why? Because on the internet, that it's not going to make a difference. When you're face to face with someone and you're having a good, deep, meaningful conversation, that's a great time, you know, to debate and to get into it and that kind of thing. Uh, but on social media, you never know who's lurking and listening in on your on your uh, conversation. And a lot of times, those people will jump in and jab at you before you even know what happened. And you're like, "What? Who is this? And how, where did this come from?" You know, and now you're embroiled in another argument or another discussion or just at least another uh, throw off of your mindset and your attitude. So guard your mindset and your attitude like it's worth a fortune. Guard it like it's worth a million dollars. And one of the ways you do that is by not getting into arguments on Facebook about, so about religion, about politics about any of those things that in the old days we used to avoid talking about in person because we knew we couldn't change people's minds. Better yet, you might wanna actually stay off of Facebook either completely or reduce your time on Facebook 
if these arguments are getting to you, you know, if, if these types of political arguments are annoying you, uh, it means they're affecting your attitude, they're affecting your mindset, and that affects your ability to make money and build a business. So, but also, in some cases, you might have a Facebook group or you might have a Facebook page that you moderate. And in those circumstances as well, you want to guard the people's attitudes that are in your group. You want to guard them by either reducing the amount of negativity that exists in the group, uh, removing certain posts that create negativity or that create strife between people, or even blocking certain people that are constant negative, you know, they bring up negative stuff and that kind of thing. So if you actually run Facebook groups or Facebook pages, you also, in my opinion, you're somewhat responsible for maintaining the spirit of that group and keeping it to a good positive level, uh, not letting it get all mired in argument and, and uh, a mess like that. And that starts by just setting good rules up front. So I hope you enjoyed today's daily hustle. Either stay off Facebook, reduce Facebook, but for sure don't ever get into any Facebook arguments. That is a lose-lose proposition, and we're all about win-win proposition by keeping your attitude up and by keeping your activity positive. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Hustle.